Hi, good morning. It's Nikki Vernaccio from Caddis Island County Park and the Cooper Environmental Center. First off, my apologies. We are a half hour late. We had some technical difficulties this morning and I blame the rain because sometimes here at the Nature Center, the rain throws us all off today. But it was a great excuse to come inside and take a tour of the Nature Center. Now, if you have not been here before, welcome. We can't wait for you to come and visit um, since we have been closed. It's been very quiet here. And if you've been here before, we're so glad to see you again. And we hope that you can enjoy uh, the Nature Center today on this kind of rainy day. Now, as we come on in, we, this is our lobby. Um, you'd be greeted by a very friendly person, Janet, at our front desk, typically, or on the weekends by our teen naturalists or other staff members. Uh, we do have a sign-in book that we ask you to sign in. Um, and we also have a great guide called our program guide. And this has all of our parks programs that we have here in the Ocean County Parks Department. That includes Cat Asylum Parks, and many of our other parks as well, which is always a great thing to check out and see. This year, the Cooper Environmental Center has a very special year. This is our 40th anniversary. So the Nature Center opened in 1980, and it was named after A. Morton and Elizabeth Cooper, who were devoted environmentalists during that time to help make Caddis Island and the Cooper Environmental Center really what it is today. So this is our 40th anniversary calendar. Uh, I still have many of them if you'd like some. Um, if you want to PM your address to me, I can send some of them out to you. Um, it's kind of a great souvenir uh, here of the park. So come on in. Our lobby always has some fun things to check out. Interactive displays or seasonal tanks. In the summertime, we actually have a tank with sea nettles that are like jellyfish. So you could come and check out actually live jellyfish-like creatures that we might find right out here in the bay. So this is kind of a fun introduction of, to see some of those critters. So come on into the exhibit room. Our exhibit room um, all focuses on animals and plants and habitats that can be found here in Ocean County, New Jersey. So you're not going to find any creatures that don't live around here, such as alligators um, or moose, even though those are big animals um, to have. They don't live here in Ocean County, New Jersey. So we only focus on things that do. So since the Nature Center opened, um, as I said, 40 years ago, we've always kind of had uh, reptiles like turtles and snakes that are living here. Um, here's one of my great friends. He's a northern pine snake um, native to Ocean County and he's a little ham so he's going to show off for us right now. Uh, his name is Thor <laughs> and um, these snakes and turtles we use for education. You can come visit and check them out and learn about them or we might take them to schools or clubs um, or scout groups as well. So they really do see a lot of people each year um, that we can help teach about their conservation and how these animals live and what they do. Now, none of our snakes that we have here are venomous, um, so they're not anything that we really need to worry about. In fact, most of our snakes are very friendly and easygoing kind of snakes. Um, so that we're, we just really, truly enjoy having them here. Now, last night, one of our snakes did something special that they do, snakes do. If you see right here, there's a long shed. This is a snake skin or a shed. So what snakes do occasionally is they want to get rid of their old skin cells, and they'll have brand new skin cells underneath. Um, and our eastern king snake was in shedding mode and shed her skin just last night. Now, she's hiding underneath her hut right now. Now, if you can see her in there, she's kind of a dark color. She's a little bit to the right. She has some white stripes to her. Um, but she's nice and happy now that she's done shedding. So on our turtle area here, we have a variety of land turtles and aquatic turtles and our frogs. So about two weeks ago, Megan did a great presentation on our gray tree frogs. These are where, this is where they live. Um, these gray tree frogs blend in great with their vines that they have in there to climb around or stick on the window with their sticky, sticky pads. Maybe while we're visiting today, you might even make, hear them make a call, which is neat to kind of hear. 
So one of our most popular guys here at the Nature Center is this common snapping turtle. You gotta check out his face. He almost looks like a dinosaur and he lays very, very still on the bottom of his tank and he rarely moves, which makes visitors very, very nervous. So often they'll come up to one of us or to the front desk and say, I think one of your turtles is dead. And we know just who they're talking about. So we come over and maybe open up the back of his tank a little bit and he'll look and be like, what? What's the matter? So this is what snapping turtles do. They stay on their bottom of a muddy pond or a lake and they hang out, wait for food to come by. Every now and again, they'll stretch out their neck and take a breath of air. So this is Jabba. Um, Jabba has a very interesting cover to him. He's got a milk crate right now. So if you notice our displays, um, we work very hard for the health, safety, and well-being for our animals, and also to kind of show you what the animals' habitats or their homes would look like and be. So when we closed, um, Crystal, who is our main animal care supervisor, who's in charge of designing all of our great tanks, um, was in the process of redoing Jabba's really cool features um, for him, and when we closed, she could not come back in. Um, so we had to give Jabba a very sad milk crate, but he's very happy with his milk crate. So it doesn't look so pretty, but um, we do miss Crystal and all of her great uh, things that she adds to our animal exhibits. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did a talk on our Diamondback Terrapins. Um, I used Magellan. Uh, this is Lewis and Clark. Um, they're the couple that are on display right now. And all of our animal exhibits, we really like to give them uh, different things to kind of help make sure they're not bored, kind of stimulate them. We'll put rocks and shells, keep things interesting and plants. We also offer them places that they can get out and dry out or to get warmer or to get cooler. So we definitely like to offer them lots of different opportunities to be comfortable and to, um, to be happy. So these guys are always so cute and such great swimmers. Now, last of our animal wall, I like to call it, we have two very large saltwater fish tanks, um, which we love. Um, this tank here are kind of filled with smaller looking fish. These are all fish that can be found out here in the salt marsh, in the mosquito ditches, or in the tidal creeks. So last week we were out in the salt marsh and we caught killifish. So that's what these little guys all are, all those little killies that we kind of caught while we were out there. Down on the bottom, these guys kind of have tiger stripes. These are called sheep's head minnows. So those are also fish that can be out in those tanks. So much smaller type fish live out and around the salt marsh, um, getting food, feeding. Uh, if there are larger fish, like a blue fish, um, as they get bigger, they might head out into the bigger areas of the bay. So our other fish tank that we have are really designed for larger fish that might be swimming out in the open bay, like Barnegat Bay. Uh, really great silver looking fish, it's actually really funny looking, but it's called an Atlantic look down because it's kind of shaped with its front looking like it's looking downwards. Um, these fish are actually caught right here at Caddis Island using a seining net, and a seining net is a method of catching fish or collecting. Uh, for science. Um, so we do have a permit to go seining and to be able to bring back some interesting creatures that we can then put on display uh, to show you for educational purposes. So this Atlantic look down was about the size of a quarter when we caught it um, in the fall. Um, typically they're more of a southern species that are showing up a little bit more along our shoreline. Now the guy in the middle, little crazy guy, is a northern puffer. A puffer fish is maybe a fish you're familiar with that might fill up with air or more water, actually, like a balloon. Um, he's not going to do that while we're watching, though, because he thinks it's feeding time. So he's ready to eat. Um, he would only fill up with water like a balloon if he was threatened, if an animal was going to eat him. So that's not the case here at the Nature Center. So he just kind of swims around looking for food to eat. Now we have a teaching tank um, that Megan showed you a few weeks ago about our horseshoe crabs. Um, this is a great tank that we can put in some critters that we might see seasonally, like mud dog whelks or clams or, or uh, hermit crabs. And it's an opportunity where you can actually come and touch uh, some of these creatures that might be there itself. 
So like I said, our exhibit room really focuses on the habitats and animals and plants that are here in Ocean County. We're on the coast. Um, we're on the salt marsh. Salt marsh is about 70% of our habitat here at Caddis Island. So we really like to focus on that. We have these great big windows that you can look out into the salt marsh. You can check out some fish, I mean uh, birds that might be flying by like ducks or swans or egrets. There's an observation deck that you could go on and uh, sit on the bench. There's a telescope that's out there that allows you to see all sorts of critters that are out there in the marsh. We also have a great bird viewing window and I also like to call this the photography window too. Um, you can come on up here. We have different bird feeders that are outside um, that you can observe the birds without really disturbing them. Uh, right now we actually have a really pretty male goldfinch that's out on one of the feeders. If you see that bright yellow color, um, the goldfinch is actually the state bird of New Jersey. So we saying welcome. Welcome to New Jersey today. But at our bird feeding window, we do have binoculars um, that you can see out with and use. And we also have touch screens. So we're very fortunate here to have these great touch screens that allow you to have a lot of information in one place. So if you're interested in learning about certain types of birds or maybe what types of feeders to use, you can go on to the touch screen and learn a little bit more information about those different animals. <clears throat> Now at the Nature Center for 40 years, as I said, we've collected a lot of um, taxidermy. People donate actually stuffed animals to us. They also bring us nature knickknacks, we like to call them, like skulls or maybe birds' nests. So we have quite a collection of nests, which are really neat to see all different shapes and sizes that can be made. And we have wooden bird carvings that show you what the birds actually look like for which nests that they make, which is kind of fun to see. Now there's some eggs that are in some of the nests. Um, most of the eggs I want to say are made from clay. There are one or two nests that might have an actual egg that was partially broken uh, that was le le still left in the nest. Let's go up. So up top here, I want to show you real quick one of our most popular displays. It's our red-tailed hawk and our squirrel. And many people are kind of disturbed but curious at the same time. So this red-tailed hawk was actually found um, hunting the squirrel. He caught the squirrel in someone's yard, and they were kind of, you know, horrified at nature happening. Um, but the hawk kind of got up and flew into power lines, which electrocuted the hawk and the squirrel at the same time. So unfortunately, they both perished, but they brought the dead hawk and squirrel here for us to taxidermy. We thought it would make a neat display. The crow that's flying around chasing them is doing something that they would do naturally in nature, which is called mobbing. Crows will mob or gang up on a hawk that might be flying by to chase them, those hawks, away from each other. Now in the center of the nature center, we have this great tree. It's called our habitat tree. It's a dead snag that was found right out here at Caddis Island that we brought inside and installed growing from our uh, floor to ceiling. And it kind of showcases all the different things that can be found around a dead tree. So you might find a coyote sitting there hiding underneath the tree. You might find all sorts of insects that are on it or using it, using shelter around the tree. And we have these great identification tags that you could learn a little bit about the critters that might be above or even below. So we give you an opportunity to also explore what's underneath the tree, like climbing through the tunnel, getting to the other side, which the kids love to do, and pushing the buttons that shine on to little windows that might show you a little creature that's using underneath the tree as well. So this is a great display that we love, um, just kind of showcasing uh, what you could find all around a tree. Now we love hands-on things here at the Nature Center. There's definitely a lot of things to read about and learn about, but there's lots of fun things to play with too. We have hands-on different activities like microscopes and a sorting table and a magnet table. So we love lots of fun things for all different ages to come in and learn about. You could, um, you know, from adults all the way down to young children. It's just a great place to do lots of fun activities. We have our osprey nest. This is kind of our imitation nest of our osprey. 
that nest here in the park. Uh, we talked a little bit about them a few weeks ago. Um, you can come up here. It's a great place for a selfie. Um, and you can also check out our live monitor. So on our live monitor, we have uh, an osprey nest, one of the nests out near the bay uh, that has an osprey sitting on it right now. She's being a little low, so it's hard to see. But this monitor enables you to come on in and get an up-close look at some of the osprey uh, that we have here. Now, if you're a history buff, Caddis Island is full of history uh, that dates back actually before the Revolutionary War, but we've had many people living here from that time to the present. So this sort of showcases all the different history that's gone on here at the park. We do have a touch screen as well um, that helps us to have show all the great pictures that we might have here from um, the Nature Center and from times of long ago. So it's a great way to go into what actually used to be here um, and how people have enjoyed it over the years. It's great because we have visitors come in um, and actually recognize some of the pictures of um, the farmhouse that used to be here back in the 1950s and 60s. So it's kind of fun to see them reminisce about that. So come on around the corner. We'll take a peek into our animal room. <coughs> So this is Crystal's office. Um, this is where all the animals are taken care of. This is the pine snake that we just saw a few minutes ago. Um, and these are all the different display tanks here. So we're going to come back in the future and we're going to take a tour just of the animal room and you'll learn how we take care of these animals, how we feed them, and how we clean them. So for now, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, we apologize for our, our delay. Um, we, I'm so happy I was able to show you the Nature Center. My name is Nikki and I'm from Caddis Island County Park and the Cooper Environmental Center. Have a great day everyone.